Hey, what's up? Operation Hydroid here, and this is my PSX for All request series where I show you how to get specific games on PSX for All. These games are taken by request, so if you would like to request a video, leave it in the comment section below. And today's episode is How to Get Crash Bandicoot Warped on PSX for All. Okay, so to get this to work, we're going to need three things. Number one being PSX for all the actual PlayStation 1 emulator and the app that we're using to play the game. So if you don't have that, there will be an annotation on the left. Second thing is iFile, a file browsing system that we'll use to put the game in the right place. So if you don't have iFile, there will be an annotation on the right. And lastly, we'll need to get Safari Download Enabler. And to get that, we're going to have to go into Cydia and search Safari Download Enabler. It's the first tweak, completely free, so go ahead and install that. Now that we have everything, we can go and get the game. To do this, we're going into Safari. And we're going to download the ROM from the internet, thanks to the help of Safari Download Enabler. So, from here we are going to click on the URL and we are going to search coolrom.com. Now, this will automatically direct you to their mobile website and there is no need to be alarmed because this is where we want to go. Their mobile website is very well formatted for mobile devices and much easier to use than their full website. So. When it finishes loading, you'll have an emulator and a ROM files button. We're going to click on the ROM files. And then it will load all the systems that they have ROMs under. So, as you can see, they do have a lot of systems, and this is great. This website has a ton of ROMs. So, when we scroll down all the way to the bottom, we'll see Sony PlayStation 2nd from the bottom. So, we're going to click on it and it will take us to the Sony PlayStation ROMs section. Now this is a very nice section of the website because it has top 25 downloaded, top 25 rated, and browse by letter. So we are going to browse by letter and we're going to go to the C and this will take us to their ROM file of all ROMs with a C. So as you can see they do have a lot of ROMs with C's, which is great. This website is very complete, has a lot of games, and you'll always be sure to find the game that you want here. So as you can see, Crash Bandicoot Warped is right there. So we're going to click on that. Then it will take us to the next location, which is a very nice area that has two screenshots of the game. Also has the amount of times the game has been downloaded, the size of the game, and its rating. So as you can see, all those things I just mentioned are here. And if we scroll down to the bottom, there will be the download link. As you can see, it says download file. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. Now, you'll know that the file is being downloaded because at the top right, you'll see the amount of megabytes being downloaded compared to the amount of megabytes to be downloaded. So this is very nice and an easy way to let you know how fast the download is going. So 76 megabytes, that's not a lot, but it will still take a fair amount of time. I say 15 to 30 minutes. If you're using Wi-Fi, it'll be around that time. If not, then I can't give you a rough estimate. So I'll be back when it is done. Alright, so you will know that it is done downloading when you get a screen like this. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to put this file in the correct place. So to do that, we're going to click Open In. Then you will have a Finder option. The only way you'll get this option is if you have Safari Download Enabler. So once again, if you do not have that, just go into Cydia, search Safari Download Enabler, and install it. So we're going to click on Finder. Then when you open it, usually you'll be here at VAR Mobile. From here, we're going to scroll down, go to Media, 
Guar Mobile Media, and for media, we'll go to ROMs, then PSX, and we'll paste the file here. So go ahead and click Save, and it copied the file into that directory. So we're going to go home and into iFile. If you do not have iFile, once again, go ahead and get that in Cydia by searching iFile and install the first one. It may be blue, but there's a free trial that you can use. Okay, so we're going to scroll down. We'll actually stay right here because it is in alphabetical order and Crash Bandicoot is starts with a C, so it is very early in the directory. So we're going to click on the file and click the zip viewer. It will load the contents. Now this may take two to five minutes, so I will be back when it is done loading. When it is done loading the contents, you'll get a screen like this. So from here, we're going to extract the .bin file into the PSX folder. To do this, we're going to click on Crash Bandicoot Warp.bin. And you will know that you clicked it because there will be a red check mark on the left and it will be highlighted in a light blue. So from here, we're going to go to the lower right corner where we see a box with an arrow pointing up. This is the extract button. When you click on it, you'll get this prompt right here. And you can click on extract file which in turn will extract the file. So as you can see it is unpacking the file so that it can so that it can extract it and again this will take two to five minutes and I will be back when it is done. Now when it is done extracting the file you will get a screen like this. Now we were already here and you know that it's been extracted because the check mark has gone away and so has the highlight. So we're going to go ahead and click done. When we click done, it will automatically direct us back to the PSX folder where we will find our .bin file. As you can see here, Crash Bandicoot Warp.bin is now in the PSX folder. So if you would like, you can trash the old .7z file, so delete it. But this will not delete it because it went into the trash. So just go ahead and empty the trash when you're done. Okay, so now we can go home and into the PSX for all application, but make sure that it is not in the multitasking bar, being as this would not let the ROM go into the PSX for all application. So if it is in the multitasking bar, go ahead and kill it and then open the PSX for all application. So now that PSX for All has opened, you can see that Crash Bandicoot Warp .bin is in the PSX for All application. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And I'm going to click Portrait and No Sound so you guys can see it. So here we have the Sony boot logo and now the PlayStation boot logo. These will always happen before every game, and after those two boot logos come up, the game will run. As you can see here, the game is about to start. So... As you can see, the game is running. It is running pretty smooth, to be exact. There's not much lag, as you can see yourself. The only lag that you guys might see is because I am recording my screen, and that might cause a little bit of lag. But definitely very playable and runs very smoothly. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Also, if you would like to see this game in action, then click on my review and gameplay on Crash Bandicoot 2. Above that, I have a couple of videos that you might enjoy, so go ahead and click on those if you've never seen them. Also, guys, at the top right, I have my green subscribe button. If you click on that, you will be tuned in for more updates and cool videos. And as always, have fun with your emulators.